the local artisan. We love celebrating how talented you are here on the Now Buffalo. That's why every week I go out and find a local maker, someone mm -hmm. in our community who has figured out a way to turn their passion for creating into profit. And who'd you meet this week, Hannah? Well, today I'm introducing you to a young woman who's not afraid to roll up her sleeves and show some clay who's boss. So I usually wedge up about um, 10 to 20 balls of clay and um, just sit down and pump them out. She molds and shapes clay into amazing works of art. For Darcy Rosinski, I just wanted to follow my dream, really. It's passion that keeps her moving. My goal is to just keep making and learning from mistakes. No two pieces of pottery are alike. Seeing the finished artwork, because every piece that I make is different. Every drawing isn't really planned out. Like I know the idea, like the bird that I'm gonna put on or the flowers, but it's kind of just like rewarding to see them all finished and them together. Rosinski has turned her craft into a full-time business and she doesn't mind sitting at her wheel for hours perfecting her work. There's so many different steps, but this is probably the most like therapeutic, meditative, just like wedging up a bunch of balls of clay and just throwing. Rosinski says she's inspired by other artists and things she loves, like buffalo, birds, and floral designs. Mountain mugs, just about like exploring and hiking and really interested in nature. The local artist says she's going to keep creating this next year and entering more shows to show off her finished work. It was so fun to watch her do that. that. It was just like created something out of just this ball of clay. Did you get your hands dirty? I didn't, unfortunately, but I might go back for some lessons. You should. That was really neat. Yeah. I love the buffalo mugs. Those were cool. So cool. Yeah.